is awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, please. Um, what does this rivalry mean? Uh, I mean, I think it means a lot for the for the fans, for the city, for the people behind the clubs, and uh, he's still young. He's, Still fresh. But, there, um, they, they haven't they haven't beaten you you guys at all. You guys have one one and tied two. Is it is it a big rivalry for you at all? I mean, it's the fourth game now on Friday, so it will be 100. percent And uh, I mean, in the future, they will look back to all these games we played, and uh, it will be historical games. And uh, I mean, the first game, I don't think people will forget that. And uh, and that will stay on, but I have to keep coming games and Galaxy won, uh, how do you say, uh, a lot of trophies and uh, LFC just started, so, and, uh, but in the future it will be even bigger. You guys have a, had a tough game yeah. last weekend, what would this win against, statistically speaking, the best team in the MLS LAFC would mean for your team? I think it's a good moment to, to play them, because if we win, it's, it's good. I think I have all the pressure on them because obviously they're the favorites and they're, I think they're overall number one. And uh, and, the, and we we play home, so I think for the fans it will be a nice game, good game, good game to play. Hopefully it will be a full stadium and uh, just to go out and enjoy. How much more to say that it is so intense, even though it's only in the fourth game? How do you mean it has the game or the game, uh, the, the, game the atmosphere? What does it say I mean, about the rivalry? Two, two teams from the same city, so obviously a lot of a lot of talks, a lot of a lot of hype, a lot of uh, circulation around it. So hopefully it will be a good game. How much more does this uh, game mean to you or this rivalry? Seeing how you made your your debut against them and you scored one of your best MLS goals against this team. How much it means for me? Yeah, for you I mean, personally. Every game is important. That is what I try to say. Even if it's San Jose, LFC, or whoever we play, it should be important, and it is. So, I mean, it's not winning or losing now. Moment like if you win, you go through. If you lose, you go out. So we're still in the season. So but it's a nice game to play. It's hopefully. Both teams do good, and uh, let's see what happens. You did a little trash talking in there, but first being here with uh, Bella, I understand. To exchange a few words, do you remember that? Or? In the first game? Yeah, the first one here when you scored nah, the team. it was a situation there on the field. I mean, what happens on the field stays on the field. I'm not like, like the goalkeeper from uh, New York City sent a picture to the commissioner that he had a scratch on his neck, and then I got suspended. That never <laughs> happened in my career. And, and trust me, if he would be in Europe, he would not play anymore in Europe. That's why he's here, maybe. <laughs> Fucking challenge that shit. Uh, when you watch Carlos Vela play, what, what, what do you like in this game? What, what do you admire? I think he's effective. He scores goals, he, do, he do, does assist. And uh, I think he's top of his game now. I don't know how old he is. And, uh, he's doing good, so he's important for his team. And uh, for MLS, probably he's... It's very important. Well, people who are watching the scoring race, he's got 19 goals in 19 games. You have, uh, what is it, 13 and 16? Okay. Um, I guess, how would you, how do you look at that? How do you handicap that? Uh, is that important to, to be the top scorer for you? I mean, if the team goes good, you do good as individuals. So, uh, but I'm not focusing on that. As long as I can help my team in the best way, I will try to, to score the goals to, to help the team. That's part of my responsibility, part of my job, so I'm trying to right race yeah, right against yeah. him. Yeah. That is nice. Do, do you need to be seeing the ball in, in better places? And, and how, how do you guys go about that? I mean, we, we try. We try. Last game was a hard one. We, we didn't really manage to do good, and, uh, and that can happen, and uh, I think some of them are good <laughs> but uh, we're trying, I mean, we just have to be ready when the situation comes and try to, try to put it in. What do you make of the nickname El Trafficker? Uh, doesn't give me right uh, So how important is it to have, I mean, you're going to have a lot of support, there's going to be a lot of fans on both sides, how important is it to have, you know? 
Galaxy Hola amigos fans de leading you guys, giving you guys all the push in this kind of rivalry game. I think fans are important. I mean, imagine you play with empty, in an empty stadium. It's no fun. Fifty percent of the of the game is the fans. Without them, and uh, I mean their fans will come, so it will be a nice atmosphere. And uh, they push you, they give you energy, they give you that adrenaline extra to give even more. So without them, probably we would not play the game. Cuba history is coming up big in these big kind of games. Do you get more up for something like this? I mean, if you, if you have experience from Europe playing, playing the derbies, the... El Clásico, you have in Spain, you have Inter Milan, the Milano Derby, you have Marseille, PSG, you have United Liverpool, and you feel the heat. That, that keeps me alive, that feels me, keeps me on my toes, so hopefully it will be a nice atmosphere like that on, on Fridays, which I cannot tell now, but I think it will be. And uh, it gives you energy, it gives you adrenaline. Have you felt that heat in any of these first three meetings? I mean, uh, it depends. It depends. It's up to me to make that heat. The first game I succeeded. The fans went crazy. Second game was when we played Hero in LFC. Yeah, the yeah. one when you came back from 2-0 down. There was different. It's so a small stadium, you said. It's up to the... It depends on the game also. I mean, the fans do their job, we have to do our job to to make the, the people enjoy. Well, Tom, I said now Vela is an early front runner for MVP for MLS. Do you think he's the best MLS player? Yeah, I, just, okay. I don't know. It okay. depends how they look at it. So I think he's doing good. And it's up to other people to judge. I said I'm from I'm totally from Hong Kong. Okay. We just want to ask, uh, as nowadays MLS is more good teams and more good players. Do you think that in the future MLS can as strong as the lead in Euro? Just like Premier did. I think it's a long way, but it's in progress. We're doing a good job. More good players are coming, and not only the from external. I mean, foreigners coming and and to the MLS also the own raised players is important also, so I think it's going in the right direction. Salata, do you think you can be the champion uh, in this season and playoff? Champion in playoff or champion in the regular season? Both. I mean, the LFC is in front of us, not only them, I think, another team. Seattle. Seattle, Seattle also, so I don't mean everything can happen. This league is like, every game is 50-50. When you're the favorite, you lose. When you're not the favorite, you win. So. It's nice from the fans, from our perspective, it's, it's different. But you have to prepare in the best way and try to give 200% and to win the game. So I think regular season, more difficult, playoff, absolutely. Re re excuse me, regarding the Earthquakes game, and you guys obviously are trying to bounce back, what were you most disappointed with regarding that game as you look back on it? That they had 32 shots and I had zero. Can you imagine how I feel? Yeah. And I'm a striker. So that was one of the parts that was... What about Cesar? It says all. Well. We don't need to say anything more. <laughs> but we've seen a couple of games where they've really struggled to get you the ball. I mean, I, I try. I told you, I need to have patience, adjust the game and uh, make different movements. I mean, when the game is working, the individual is working. And when the collective is working, the individual is working. So it's not a one-man show. It doesn't depend on one player. It's like a puzzle. We all have to work to, to make the individual shine. So. But yes, I have a lot of responsibility. I have a lot of demands on myself. I put a lot of pressure on myself. So I want to do the maximum every game, every training to get the best out of myself and to get the best out of the team. Do you have a preference uh, playing up top alone or playing with a partner? No, I mean, the game is different. I mean, it's up to the coach what kind of tactic he chooses to, to to do for the game and uh, every game is different. So I played with two, I played with one. I have, playing with it's, it's a mix, it's not... I mean, you put 11 players, then if it's 4-3-3 or 3-4-3 three, or whatever, it's the movement you make on the field that makes the difference. So sometimes they come in, in your position, which is normal. So 
It's all about the movements. Zlatan, Tell me. You said you want to be a director of RTS one day. And do you want to be a coach or a technical director Correct. in MS in the future? Director of IX. Like the question. I said I would do a better job than them because they're too busy making selfies. <laughs> that is what I said. <laughs> so correct the words, uh, not manipulate the words. Uh, what do you think? Good? Is what do you think is an area of 51? Last Any guesses? Guy. <laughs> What's there? Probably there's not a, another Zlatan. That's for sure, because he's here. Thank you. Would they let Zlatan in area 51? I have my own area 51. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.